Rolling. Good morning, guys. This is Rusty78609, Central Texas, USA. In his 16-foot travel trailer in the middle of nowhere in Central Texas. It's a beautiful day right now. It's dark outside, so I can't see it. But anyway, hey, Google. Good morning. Hi, Rusty. The time is 6.39 a.m. Currently in 78611, it's 58 and mostly cloudy. Today, it'll be partly cloudy, with a forecasted high of 67 and a low of 44. Have a nice day. Perfect mundo, babe. Perfect mundo. Nice day here in Central Texas, and tomorrow's going to be even better. And guess what we get today that we haven't had in two days, two and a half days? Sunshine. Do I need sunshine? Yes, I am amp man. I'm into amps and solar. But anyway, so far so good, guys. I got a little video I'm going to post later today <clears throat> that I did related to the different things I'm using on solar and how much they use in amps. See, because solar panels speak to your battery in amps, okay? So you got to know the lingo. Amps, amps, amps. That's all you need to know. I dreamed about amps last night. I also dreamed about sunshine because we didn't have any again yesterday, but the batteries are still holding up. We're still above, let's see, uh, uh, we're almost 90% on the lead acid battery and we're right at 85% to 90% on the AGM battery, so we're still good all the way around, but today we're going to go top them off, babe, top them off. Found out something else, too, I'm going to try today, is... Uh, you know, when you're towing your trailer down the highway, it's charging your battery a little bit. Well, we're going to find out how much because I'm going to, just for a test, I'm going to back my truck up. And I'm going to check my battery and then plug it into the pickup while it's running and see see what how, how it charges. But anyway, Rondolin 100 on camping, off-grid, or whatever I did. Oh, this is on the gallon jug things. She says, Thorny, good to see him again. Yeah, yo, Thorny, that's my cactus I have on my patio. He, I had a five-gallon container there that I grew uh, peppers and tomatoes in occasionally. And uh, anyway, I stopped doing that, but old Thorny moved in. I don't know how he got there. I didn't plant him there. He just showed up one day. His little head stuck up through the, through the ground, and I let him go. And, you know, cactus will grow anywhere. I've seen them growing out of rocks, you know, out of cracks and rocks out, in, out west and even out around Big Bend. So he's doing fine. Yeah, he's a healthy little booger. He's really thorny, too. He's got some really thorns. Anyway, thank you, Ronald. This is Mike Butterfield, RV boondocking. At sea, they call it dry docking. Well, okay, I'll just tow my little Puff the Magic Dragon out in the middle of the Pacific and dry dock. How about that one? <laughs> Me and my Ram pickup across the Pacific. I, I could do it. This is Cones Travel, left me a heart. Cones Travel says the sun is coming. Uh, I don't know what that is. <clears throat> I guess that's a, I don't know, is that that's a hashtag something? I don't know. I don't keep up with that. Anyway, camping water jugs, J Wall 10, people on sailboats like the other one F figures. They collapse, <whistles> take up a lot less room. Uh, good is new when refilled over and over. The harder plastic splits over time. Thank you, James. Charlie the Tuna, that's this individual's name. Charlie the Tuna, 2018 Travel Light. I would love to go RVing with a midget. Well, then you just have to run an ad on Cla uh, Craigslist and get you one. Sure, there's one that'll go with you. Me, my cat, and I am. Hey, Rusty, this is Juanita from me, my, my cat, and I am. Okay, I saw that. Glad that you are back on the road again. Keep up the good work. Right now, my temperature in Tampa Bay, Florida is 82 degrees. That's pretty warm, but I also know what else you get in Tampa Bay, Florida. Humidity. We get it here in Texas, but in Central Texas, but not near what you guys get it on the coast. And all Florida, that whole finger sticking out in the ocean is, is a coastline. <clears throat> but anyway, Dr. Dan... He left some good information about depletion rates on batteries. He says AGM batteries only have a 1% natural depletion rate per month, no usage. Lead acid wet batteries have a natural depletion rate of just under 1% per day. <clears throat> then he goes on to explain some other things about batteries and voltages and stuff. So check it out. It's on our being boondocking video. I did a video a long time ago about getting fired because I did. I've been fired 
Oh, I don't know, a couple of times, I think. Yeah. Uh, Charlotte Herring, funny video, loved it. The reason I got fired, I didn't want the job anyway. You know, I was a car salesman. And the sales manager told everyone in a meeting, he said, look, guys, he said, whenever you have a customer, be sure you bring them to the manager's desk to meet me. Okay, and the manager's desk was on a platform raised up above the floor in the showroom, about four feet, you know, kind of like a judge in a courtroom, big deal. I didn't like that a bit. <clears throat> anyway, so I had a customer one day that was on his lunch hour. The guy had called me and told me that he was on his lunch hour. He just had a few minutes, and so I already had to pick up. He was interested in pulled up in front of the dealership, so he came, he looked, he got in the, he looked at it, he said, yeah, it's fine, I'll be back later. And uh, anyway, he got in his pickup and left. I went inside and the sales manager said this, you know, come here, come here, come here. So anyway, I said, yeah, what you got, man? And he said, was that a customer you were talking to? I said, yeah. I said, he was on his lunch hour. He said he didn't have time or I'd have brought him in to meet you. He said, I told you, to, I, told, I, I told you to bring in every customer to meet me. He said, one more time and you're fired. I said, how about this? I quit. Anyway, I said other things too, a lot of other things. And none of them were nice. Uh, it says Mike Butterfield blizzard warning for Lake Tahoe tomorrow 100 mile per hour winds and maybe five feet of snow up high hey Google what's the weather in Lake Tahoe right now in Lake Tahoe it's 30 and cloudy today there will be heavy snowstorms with a forecasted high of 35 and a low of 21 there is currently a blizzard warning in effect how about that guys I'm not going to Lake Tahoe today. Hey Google, what's the temperature in Alamogordo? In Alamogordo right now, it's 34. A little too cool, guys. Going to have to come up. Hey Google, what's the temperature in Bangor, Maine? In Bangor, it's currently 38. Eh, not bad. You guys are you guys are getting to be humans. Uh, this is can't believe what we what we what. Casita versus Scamp, that's the person's name. Can't believe what we what. Hey, Rusty, I'm a little concerned about the information contained behind you. I'm not sure what I do with your PayPal account. I'm not sure either. Do what you do, do well. Anyway, this is P-A-H Parahink. Parahink. P-A-H-R-A-H-I-N-C. You guys are going to have to get some names I can pronounce. Living alone, blah, blah, blah. If a man is neat and clean and organized before his divorce, he'll probably have no problem ever being alone. If the man had a wife who picked up after him, did everything else except wipe his little hiney, he'll be a sloppy mess and stay out a lot and pick up bad habits. Abusive men end up in jail or dead or chronic drug abusers. Well, that's good to know. I wasn't any of those, but I'm fine. Thank you. Debbie Karen, I agree 100% on the water jugs. Thank you. Yeah, the, the one with that little plastic handle like this doesn't work. You need a handle before you can do that. Uh, Scott Olison. Hello, Scott Olison, Elio Motors. Can you give us an update on Elio? There is no, there's no news, nothing. I mean, you can go check Google, do a Google search for current news on Elio. Zero. <clears throat> Boondocking, Edward Maraglia. Rusty, can you show us more about that AGM battery box and where to purchase? Uh, well, I got my AGM battery and uh, solar set up from Backcountry Solar out just outside of Cortez, Colorado. You can do a Google search for Backcountry Solar. <clears throat> and I would recommend if you have any questions about solar, you call them because they're good, honest people. It's just one guy and his wife. Full-time RVing, Angela Williams. Things have changed so much in the camping world that it makes you think five times before full -timing, timing and I'm not in my 70s. I want to go see and return to a home base. It's cozy, crazy out there with people of all ages trying to get over scamming on my taxes. The thrill is gone. She's trying to get over, I don't know. Anyway, good, good luck, Angela. Hang in there, babe. Everything will work out. This is Super Duet 4. Where is this place located? He's looking at the tab, New Camp. 
that was at Princess RV in Round Rock, Texas. Princess Craft RV in Round Rock, Texas. Mike Butterfield, comment call. What is the best time to go to the dentist? Tooth hurty. Tooth hurty. You got that? Hey, Google, tell us a joke. This might make you laugh. The right eye said to the left eye, between you and me, something smells. <laughs> okay, this is about an FM antenna I did uh, a long time ago. It says, be bowling 7-Eleven. says, Rusty, you're cracking me up. You come a, you've come a long way since 2015. There's actually physics involved in building antennas, frequencies, and wavelengths. Well, I, I don't know any of that. <clears throat> this is one I did on Trump versus Clinton a long time ago. Hey, Rusty, you made, this is J John Vitito. Hey, Rusty, you made this video August 15, 2016, and I'm watching it February 28, 2018. You have really cleaned up your language since 2016. Hey, good for you. By the way, I like your big orange uh, t-shirt. Yeah, I was still, I was wearing orange t-shirts back then because <clears throat> they get them cheap. Thank you, John. This is Scotty. He's got one, two, three, four. We'll get all of them. Scotty, cool comment call. Rusty, have you buy any as seen on TV infomercial before? No, I don't buy anything off of television infomercials ever. Cool are being boondocking, dry camping, day three, talk and drive in your truck, Rusty. Thank you. Cool camping, off-grid, boondocking, water jugs, talk, Rusty. Thank you, Scotty Thompson. I'm glad to have you with us, son. You're a year older. John Cook says, Thorny the cactus looks thirsty, LOL. Actually, Thorny does really good in that five-gallon bucket. <clears throat> he likes that stuff because I put stuff in there every now and I put, I put leftovers in there, I, you know, just to give him a little variety. John Cook. Oh, that was him, that same guy. <laughs> Getting good, eh? Uh, RV boondocking, Will Hunt. I am on day seven trying to get on the road. It taken him seven days to get on the road. He must be slower than I am. Today, I spent four hours teaching my wife how to drive the rig in a large storage facility. <laughs> I bet that was a treat. She did real good, except when she hit the gas instead of the brake. I hear you and almost drove through a Toyota Tacoma and, and one wing of the storage facility. I was a real good teacher with my quick mind and was able to say, stop. <laughs> so if you don't hear from me, it would probably be too late. LOL. I hear you, man. I see guys camping out there with their wives and the wife is at the back of the RV and the guy's trying to back in. Boy, you talk about a comedy. Anyway, it's Scotty, a couple of Scotty Thompson here. He says, cool RV, boondocking, dry camping, day three. Thank you, Scotty. Cool off-grid camping, cool off-grid boondocking, water jugs, talk, Rusty. Thank you, Scotty Thompson. This is Francisco Payardo. Thank you from Vietnam. I never heard of that. Golf Hyena, LOL. I can buy a house for half the cost where I live. Well, good. Do it. Do it. Do it. Do it. Do it. Do it. Anyway, I got a video I'm going to post later today. I may post it earlier, but I will see. But anyway, I did. I went through all. I went through the cell phone, the refrigerator, <clears throat> the you know all the running the Google, the phone charger, and all that stuff to see how many amps you use. Because if you know exactly how many amps you're going to use, uh, that helps you a lot in, in, in selecting a solar setup. But let me say this. I've got 120 watts out there right now. Well, I don't have them out yet, but I will have because it looks like it's clear out there. The sun's coming up a little bit. But, it, if you know, 200 watts would be, I, I could uh, live in luxury. But, you know, 120 is adequate. Uh, 200 would be, you, you could just leave everything on and take a walk <clears throat> for me. But anyway, what else we got going on here, guys? Not much. Hey, Google, tell us a joke. One joke coming up. What did the snail say while sitting on the turtle? Wee. You know, <laughs> I don't know what to say. <laughs> Anyway, guys, from Central Texas, USA, this is Boondock and Rusty, dry camping, off-grid, 
and it's working. So far, I'm, I'm fine. I ain't got any problem with this at all. I can do this. Now, the question is where? We're going to go Monday. We're going to go to Corps of Engineers for two nights, and then I'll come back here for a few days, watch the weather out west, and whenever it gets to the magic number, around 50 is, is nice. Around 50 in the mornings is nice. And as far as the highs, uh, if it's in the 50s in the mornings, it's probably going to be in the 80s or m maybe upper 70s in the afternoon. So, you know, we're good. That's good. And, I, you know, I, I wait for that because, uh, you know, for me, I'm just going to have fun and enjoy myself. You know, I don't have to go anywhere. In fact, I could stay here and be just fine. You know, I don't save any money uh, full time and out there on the road. I actually spend more money because of gasoline to get to... Uh, to drive from here to Iran, Texas is, is, is 200 miles, that's 40 bucks in fuel. From Iran, Texas to Carlsbad is another 200 miles, that's another 40 bucks. From there to a Gear Springs is 200 miles, another 40 bucks. So to get to a Gear Springs, my first long-term campground probably, is going to be 120 bucks, 120 dollars. So having said that, uh, yeah, but I, you know, once I get into New Mexico, then I can float around and spend more time and, you know, just chill out because uh, the whole trick is getting out of Texas, man, because there's just no good places to camp on the way. I mean, if you want to stop at truck stops and stuff, you can do that. I don't care to. So, but anyway, I, I've got it planned. I always got a plan. It may not work worth crap, but it works plan. Anyway, thumbs up, Carpe Diem, adios, bye bye. Buy anything you want. Do you realize we got nothing on the Google? or excuse me, the Amazon link yesterday, <coughs> my first day for a flat zero. There, there had been days where it was pennies, but this was the first day since I started the Amazon link that it was a goose egg. <laughs> Way to go, guys. Anyway, but it's okay. We're still averaging around 6 to $8 a day, so that's that'll pay pretty much pay my gasoline on the road. And if I can do that, I'm pleased, okay? So having said that, thumbs up, Carpe Diem, adios, bye, 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 anything you want, but use the Amazon link if you, if you, in, my, in the description of my videos. Why? Because I'm an Amazon affiliate. I get a small commission. It does not cost you a penny. So if you're going to buy something from Amazon anyway, use the link if you choose to. If you don't, don't worry about it. It's your business. What else? Uh, drink plenty of water. Three or four quarts a day will not hurt you. It's good for you. It will help you avoid gout kidney stones and it will help you lose weight because you will be full of water and you won't want to eat so much. What else? Take deep breaths. Breathe in deep. Breathe out slowly. Why? Because that relie relieves stress or lowers stress and that also lowers your blood pressure which is good for you. Okay? Next thing is stretch, 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 walk, walk, walk. I'll do that in just a minute after I have my breakfast and the sun comes up and it warms up just a little bit. And what else? Let me think. Uh, stretch, stretch. Oh, stand guard at the door of your mind. Do not let, do not let negative Nancy or negative Ned get inside of your, your, your head, okay? You know, if they come up there and they're going to dump a load of trash in your mind, don't let them do it. You know, I know how you feel. I know how you felt. But, uh, you know, fried chicken legs are delicious, aren't they? You know, just change the subject. And what else? Uh, yeah, if the talking heads on TV or blah, 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 blah. You know, the news is so bad. I mean, I go to my news, uh, Google news page that I have set up that pulls in just what I might be interested in, and it's crap. I mean, I can't believe it. Never mind. See what I mean? You can go off on that stuff. But anyway, having said that, enjoy your day. And we've got a beautiful, clear day out there, guys. So we're going to be solar charging today, babe. We're going to load up on sunlight. Do you realize all this power is brought to you by the sun right here at no charge? Well, sort of. If you factor it in the cost of the, you know, the solar panel and the battery and stuff, you know, you could probably spread it out and it'd come out to, you know, over, well, you know, the solar's good for 25 years. Battery's probably good for five or six. So, you know, you'd probably end up with a factor of, maybe three or four cents a kilowatt, okay, whatever, or, or an amp, whatever. Anyway, adios amigos, bye-bye. Enjoy your day.